Hello my friends, welcome to my channel Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy, thank you so much for being here. Today we are going to take a look at, do another installment of Who Am I Reading For? This is some something that I do as often as I can. There is a playlist for it. They are timeless, these readings, so if it resonates for you and you like my style of reading, feel free to check out that playlist and anything that jumps out at you or sounds like your story it's probably a message for you okay so I just want to know who I'm reading for so I'll get a, a message for you and you comment below and let me know who you are that resonates with this message okay so let's go ahead and get started <laughs> if you like my style of reading if you like these who am I reading for readings I would love for you to subscribe and join my community here on YouTube if you haven't done that already all right what is the message that wants to come through for you all right oh Wow, so there, oh, right here is the Wheel of Fortune. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. There's massive change. So I was already gonna say that <laughs> because I've got the Ten of Wands and I've got the Two of Cups. There's massive change happening here. Wow, I've got the Ace of Cups and I've got the Hierophant too. Good night. You guys, there's a divine alignment taking place here with the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune. There's massive change. There is a big cycle that's closing. The cycle is a cycle of burdens from your past. It's a, it's a struggle bus cycle is what I call it. This is a cycle of heaviness, of burdens, of challenges, one challenge after another, and it could go back as far as 10 years. This is a cycle. Everything goes in cycles of 10. So it's like we're closing this old cycle. Karmic balance is being restored, and we're starting a new cycle. So you may be kind of in the middle of the, like the in-between, like we're closing this cycle and we're starting this cycle, um, or this is coming to a close and the new one is getting ready to start. This is the 10 as well. So we're literally walking away from an old cycle here and we're starting a new cycle here. And this cycle is destiny and fate coming together for you, especially in love, it looks like. Maybe you have, you know, for the, at the time of recording this, it is the 12th of April. And we had the new moon eclipse at the beginning of this week and between the eclipses from last month and this month this energy has been incredibly transformative and change like there's mass changes going on on the inside of us there's changes you know the universe is like coming in and wiping out um, relationships that were not aligned with us so some of you may have been blocked some of you may have been experiencing some loss maybe you did the breaking up if you've gone through any sort of thing like that it's like it's all happening because divine alignments are taking place now this doesn't have to be in relationships it can be in other things too because divine alignments are being uh, are coming together in love but also in other areas of life too you may have been struggling in finances and that is about to close and a divine alignment for you in the area of finances or a new career or a new job or whatever it is for you is coming into place with this wheel of fortune this is the wheel of fortune turning in your favor this is destined moments that are being planned for you right now this is the hands of fate and this is the hands of destiny coming in and making these changes in your life bringing in what is right for you what is aligned for you and what I'm seeing here is a divine alignment so this yes is love this is maybe your person this is you coming together with the right person for you and maybe you had to let go of a, of a connection that was not the right person for you and maybe it was a long-standing connection and maybe it was very difficult to do that and maybe it was done for you and that's difficult too right and it hurts but you go through your healing and now you're coming into alignment with what is for you this can also like I said be about a job maybe you were let go maybe you walked away or maybe you've been waiting to find a job and what is coming in is the divine perfect aligned job for you so it's like it's made for you okay so these are amazing cards you guys <laughs> these are amazing cards what is divinely perfectly made for you whether it's love or money or all the above 
it is coming in for you and this cycle of you know the difficult cycle is is from where I'm sitting it looks like it's still closing or it may have just closed but you may be already on the other side experiencing the new so let me know where you are on this timeline comment below and let me know how this resonates for you but it looks to me like the hands of fate and and destiny are are turning everything in your favor right now and so you're get ready because if you're not already if you haven't already met somebody or in a new job situation or something like that that feels like wow this person or this situation is just like it couldn't be any more perfect for me if you're not there yet get ready golly this is great Oh, wow, look, it's been a long time coming. All right, what do you need to know about this? What do you need to know about this situation? We've got the temperance angel here. Have patience, allow your healing. You may be in the in-between stage. You may have, you know, some people call that the intersection where or like the in-between where you have stepped out of the past but you may like have one foot still there and you may have one foot in the new but you're in this in-between stage where where you're adjusting you're healing you're preparing things haven't all come into place yet but you're you're definitely done with the old but you may still be just like one foot there and be in that in-between so that temperance angel tells me that you may be in the in-between stage and it may be putting you in your head a little bit because you may be being triggered and you may be hurting because, you know, it's hard. It's hard to let go of the past. It's hard sometimes, you know, especially if you've been hurt. And so you may be being triggered. You may be a little bit overthinking because you don't know where you're going yet. You don't really know what's happening. All you know is it's not comfortable. <laughs> you may be up at night worried and stressed. But I've also got the Nine of Pentacles here. So look, this cycle is closing. It's closing. You've, you've reached the end. Okay, so just breathe and remember that you are des deserving and worthy of what is aligned for you and that's literally what's happening here so if you find yourself in this energy of uncertainty fear anxiety up all night you got thoughts you don't know you maybe you don't have any direction yet you don't know what's going on you are feeling the pressure in your finances perhaps or you're feeling the loneliness you're just like overthinking and stressed and worried remember who you are I just want to say, remember who you are. There are divine alignments coming. You're magic. Okay? If you've been following me for very long, you know, when I see this card, I say magical alignments of events that are coming together for you. Magical alignments. They, they feel like magic because they're beyond your control. It's the hands of fate. It's the universe doing this for you. Because you are deserving and you are worthy. You are meant to shine. You are meant to be magnetic to all that is really destined for you. And that is what is coming in. This is what I'm seeing here. Now, you're shifting out of this and you're shifting into this. This is part of the old cycle and this is part of the new cycle. You're shifting into this abundant, magnetic, independent, um, self-sufficient, and wealthy version of you wealthy and also very magnetic and confident okay you are worthy you are deserving and you're meant to live in this confidence you're meant to live in abundance you're meant to live in prosperity you're meant to live in, in this abundance mindset that literally attracts abundance and magical events lining up for you okay so do your best to shift out of the overthinking and shift into the heart, reminding yourself how worthy you are, reminding yourself that the universe actually created you to live in abundance. You were made in the image and the likeness of God, the creator. And if we're living in the image and the likeness of God, this means that we're not meant to live in this. We're meant to live in this, where we have so much money coming in that we can give away some we can buy ourselves something nice. We can live in confidence and surety. We can live in this energy of, I know that everything is working out for me. I know that. 
I may not see it right now, but I know that because that's the way I was created to be. So let me know where you are on that. Also, by the way, for somebody here watching, two nines when they come out together means you're moving. So you may that may be a confirmation of for someone. It also could be like you may be moving careers. But there is a divine alignment of some kind here. And it may be at a distance from you. Allow it to happen because it's going to make you so, so, so happy. Okay? So happy and so fulfilled. Allow it to take place because it's literally coming with the Wheel of Fortune, which means good luck, good fortune, and magical events lining up for you. It's destiny. It's destiny. What's destined for you is unfolding. And this cycle is closing. Look at that. We've got the Ten of Wands and the Ten, the Wheel of Fortune over here, and we've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. You are literally got confirmation left and right. Ten of Swords is the old cycle. We're stepping into this new cycle of happiness, contentment, peace, fortune after difficulty, and love. Okay? Wow. Look. The Two of Wands. You're leaving this way of life. And you're going in this direction over here. And you're in the middle. So just know it's all unfolding for you. He's got the globe in his hand. So you may be leaving. You may be moving. You may be starting over in some other country, some other state, some other location. You may just decide that you just you want to start over. Let that be confirmation to somebody. For somebody. And let me finish pulling the spread. I can't do both. I can't talk and pull spreads at the same time. I don't know why. I just I can't do it. So we've got the King of Wands in, in the heart of the spread. And I'm going to start with him because literally this is the energy that you need to embrace. The energy of confidence. Being sure of yourself. Being so confident that you are magnetizing because you're magnetic. You're magnetizing everything to you that you could ever ask for. You are stepping into this magnetic energy. This is you in your new cycle where you are a leader. You're the leader of your own life, but maybe you're stepping into a leadership role at work or something like that. Maybe you're taking control of your own life and you're starting your own situation, whatever it is. He's got the Ace of Wands in his hand here, and that is a brand new beginning. It's a very creative new beginning. It's inspired by the universe. It's, it's inspired action. It's inspired like creativity, follow your inspired creativity, follow what lights you up and be confident in that. Follow what lights you up because I feel like you're being guided somewhere and you may be trying to hold on to the past, but that's a comfort zone and that's what's not working for you and that's what is closing. That's the cycle that's closing and you're in this in between and it's not comfortable. It's, it's, it's comfortable, so to speak, to stay in a comfort zone, but it's really not comfortable because it's not fun. And you know you've outgrown it, but it's not comfortable to step into the unknown, right? But this card in the heart of your spread says you, in your heart, follow what lights you up. Follow it in confidence. Do what you feel pulled and nudged. You know, your intuition nudges you. Inspired action nudges you. And also you can you can always know what that is by you, you have a fascination, you're interested. You're like, oh, should I? No. And sometimes fear will take over and say, no, I couldn't do that. So what I'm seeing here is that you need to step into this new chapter of your life and whatever that looks like for you, because we're all different, in confidence, being courageous, being this king energy whether you're a guy or a girl it doesn't matter it's the king energy we want to embrace that energy of that confidence and that magnetism and knowing that everything is always working out for you even if it hasn't in the past you can tell yourself that and your subconscious will go to work with the wheel of fortune right here which is the universe stepping in saying everything is working out for you you just wait you just wait and see what's on the other side of this is so much bigger and better than you've ever been through in your life. There is a big, big, major l good luck change happening in your life right now. Be confident and also trust. 
trust yourself trust your inner inspiration and trust the universe is taking you into your greatest chapter of your entire life okay you're being led right into it so if you've been feeling like you want to move I would look into that because I see another nine here there's definitely somebody's definitely moving maybe you get I've got the the knight of swords here maybe you get a an open door to move maybe you're trying to sell a house and you've got you've got the sale coming in or maybe you're trying to get a house somewhere else and and the uh the message comes in that you got it and suddenly you're on your way this is very fast energy so whatever is going on here this divine alignment of love money whatever it is maybe a new home it's going to happen very quick and I feel like you're in this in between right it doesn't feel like it's quick especially after everything you've been through but when it happens it's gonna be like overnight everything's different so be expecting the unexpected here <laughs> be expecting the shift and this this unexpected is really good okay it's good luck and it's destiny it's the hands of fate I'm telling you it's the hands of fate I've also got the justice card and the chariot the chariot is fast moving energy too. the chariot is also very very much a soulmate energy for me so it's divine alignment whatever it is it doesn't have to be love but it's divine alignment it's justice being served it's balance being restored what you're walking away from was not balance it was what was not in balance with you not uh, in alignment with you and balance being restored is what is coming is what is aligned with you okay divine realignments are taking place I've been saying it for weeks and this just shows me this is what's happening here for you and it's coming in very very suddenly <laughs> very suddenly but also you are going to be so happy because here's the victory at the end of this race this is you on the other side receiving the victory receiving everything and seeing that the universe said that everything if you could just see on the other side what the universe can see you'll see that you've got the victory here you've got a job that is better than you thought you've got a person that is coming in that is perfect perfect for you it's like you were made for each other you're going to be celebrating and you're going to feel so grateful because everything worked out for you so much better than you thought that is what I'm seeing here you're coming into great stability, great success, great happy news. You're going to be celebrating this news. And it's so much bigger than you think. So much bigger than you think. Okay? So, wow. Comment below and let me know who this, is reading, this reading is resonating for. And let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out. You're losing faith. You're losing hope. Because you've been through a lot and you're feeling the pressure you're feeling the lack of what you need to do is you need to have confidence in yourself and you need to have confidence in in the universe and and see the universe as your partner because the universe is your partner and the universe is unfolding big events for you and and guiding you right into these new directions okay have confidence in yourself and have confidence in the the universe that it does have your back and it is doing everything in your favor it doesn't feel like that right now but you need to trust you need to trust in a higher power because trusting in the uncertainty of the world is only going to depress you trusting in a higher power to take care of you that is literally moving things around for you working behind the scenes for you you can't see it yet because it's it's energetic it happens in the energy realm first and then it happens in our realm you can't see it with natural eyes but you can see it with your heart trust trust that everything is coming together for you I do see a lot of swords here I feel like you are definitely not trusting okay this is the energy of not trusting and like really being in your head release all of that take a deep breath right now as you are watching this and release all of that release all of that and be willing to be willing to believe 
that the universe, your higher power, has your back. Be willing to be willing to believe. Start there if you have to. If you can't just jump into faith and trust, be willing to start somewhere. For me, it was I had to be willing to be willing. I couldn't just be willing. I had to be willing to be willing to believe that the universe has my back and that the universe is taking me to my Ten of Cups. Sorry, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this is fortune. This is soulmate. This is everything coming together for you. This is another 10, guys. We've seen five tens. Okay, I don't know if that's even an angel number, but it is a lot of big changes and it's good. Okay, and we're ending on the five on the ten of pentacles. I mean, what? <laughs> the ten of pentacles and, and the ten here, the, the wheel of fortune. What? This is everything working out for you way beyond better than you think. If you only just be willing to believe. Be willing to believe. Be willing to be willing to believe. The universe wants you in this place. Feeling abundant. Feeling content. Feeling happy. Feeling peaceful. Feeling stable. Feeling balanced. Feeling like you're in a trusted partnership that is made for you. Are you willing to believe? Are you willing to be willing? Let me know in the comments below. Know that I love you. I trust this is what you needed to hear. Thank you so much for being here. Hit that like on the way out if you don't mind. And comment below and let me know who I am reading for. Remember, whenever this reading is finding you, it doesn't have to be right now. Whenever it is finding you, it is for you. If it resonates for you, take it, claim it. Be willing to be willing, my friends. Because that changes everything.